As hundreds of thousands of people soak up the sunshine at the Minnesota State Fair today, vendors are hoping to cash in on blue skies. Rain and severe weather shrunk crowds this week, and vendors say now they're hoping for one final push. WCCO's Adam Duxter shares how two of them are making the prep for one last busy weekend. Even on day 10 of the Minnesota State Fair. I think it's going to be a marathon finish for us. Farmers Union chef Chris Coach has energy like the gates just opened. Benny, I love you. Chloe Benny. Yesterday was what we've been dreaming for all week. Mainly thanks to sunshine. It was fantastic crowds. We had a line from 8 o'clock until 6.30 when I went home. It's a similar story no matter who you talk to. You know, it's crazy. I think it was one of the busier days I've seen at the fair. I, I think there's probably been attendance bigger, but it's it's got to be in the top five. The nice weather and big crowds feel like the one thing that's been missing from this year's fair so far. You know, our sales are directly relative of the attendance. So if the attendance is up, we do well. If the attendance is down, we don't do as well. So th these nice days, especially on the weekends, are huge. D74. So well, it's certainly hard work. I'm, I'm crunching numbers in my head. Are we going to have enough? I better get a couple couple more shipments and stuff so we're ready to build more sandwiches, ready to make more simple syrup that serves some more lemonade. And Gary's always doing the milk cone at the end of the night, so we're ready. It's work well worth it. These guys say they'll sleep come Tuesday. <laughs> Cheers to the Cheers. State Fair. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> at the fair, Adam Duxter, WCCO News. There we go.